Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 3rd of 2020. Well, it is titled Comet Neowise over Vico Scourge. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as Vicos Gorge in northern Greece. And we can see the river down at the bottom. And the gorge is the area that the river has hollowed out over many, many years. So it slowly will erode the weaker material and eat away at it and has left behind the uh, material that we see here. So at one point, the river would have been much higher up and it's slowly been eating its way down through the mountains that are now left behind. And of course, the material would slowly fall in as well and then be removed as as well, which allows it to enlarge as we see it here. Now we also see uh, up above in the sky, we see the comet known as Neowise. And that was the prominent comet that was visible earlier this month to the naked eye. It's now faded to the point where you can still see it with a pair of binoculars. But as it heads out to the outer solar system away from the uh, sun and Earth, it heads out, it is heading out, it is getting fainter and fainter and harder and harder to see. Now you can see uh, the comet pointing downward and the comet always points in the direction of the sun. So the sun would be down below the horizon here and the two comet tails stretching back. You can see uh, going diagonally towards the upper left is the ion tail that was stretches straight back away from the sun. And then you can see the dust tail much broader and stretched out kind of curving slightly off to the right. Uh, and that is a little bit heavier particles. Now the location of this in the sky is near a very famous asterism known as the Big Dipper. And you can see the Big Dipper here up above seven bright stars that outline the hindquarters and tail of the Great Bear in the sky. An asterism is a bright grouping of stars but is not a constellation. So the Big Dipper is not a constellation but is part of the constellation of Ursa Major although it is the most prominent part and contains the seven brighter stars that we see. However there's more to the constellation than just the Big Dipper itself. But the Big Dipper is also often pointed out simply because it is one of those easily identifiable objects in the sky that a lot of people are able to identify. And it is a help in trying to find the comet Neowise because it's very close to that to that uh, asterism. So you're able to use that as a guide for being able to find it. And as I said, now you really need a pair of binoculars to be able to see the comet, although it still is visible in the evening sky. So that was our picture of the day for August the 3rd of 2020. It was titled Comet Neowise over Vico Scourge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Galaxy Swirl. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.